I, uh, my father lives in California. Uh, he's, he's older, he's disabled, uh, he's not very healthy. And um, he's, he's really, um, he's a really, um, he's really strong in his faith in Christianity. And so he has really strong beliefs that the president is there, President Trump's there because God put him there. And that the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. He's very, very, and he's also all these disabled. He's almost, he's almost died many times. And I, so I feel that his faith in a lot of ways is what sustains him in the life that he has right now. On the other hand, when I go home, um, he asks me questions about am I saved and what do I really believe? And, and I find it really uncomfortable because I know what he wants me to say. I know that he's worried that I'm going to go to hell if I'm not born again. And, um, and then also um, he sends me stuff on social media, things that are like Jesus was born of a virgin, he rose from the dead, Buddha didn't do this, Muhammad didn't do this, and all this stuff that isn't helpful. And so right now, I, to this point, I've tried to, de to deflect, I've tried to be respectful, and I've tried to ignore. And, um, and so I want to show up the best way that I can for him, to honor him, and also to ensure that I um, hold myself in a way that I, I respect him fully and not feel just some sort of um, frustration. So the conversation between the younger and the older generation is pretty much paused. So that's what the world looks like today. And this is not just happening in Korea. It's happening in multiple locations. 그러니까 옛날에는 나라와 나라 사이, 종교와 종교 사이의 갈등이 심했습니다. So previously, historically, we saw the biggest conflicts between nation states and between religious traditions. 왜냐하면 각자가 고립되어 살았기 때문에 정보 양이 달랐습니다. That's because we were pretty much isolated from each other, so we didn't have a lot of information about one another. 근데 지금은 달라졌습니다. But today is different. 어이 SNS가 나오면서. With social media. You know, the social media allows us to share what's common to the, that generation. So, a young singer in Korea. BTS, you know BTS? <laughs> so, a young group, a pop singer in Korea called BTS, is now shared through social media throughout the young people throughout the world. 자기 집에 아버지나 할아버지하고는 대화가 안 됩니다. But that young person who is engaged in this kind of communication with others throughout the world cannot talk to his father or grandfather. 음, 한 집에 만나도 할 얘기가 없습니다. You know, they live under the same roof, but they can't speak to each other. 음, 같은 집에 앉아서 전부 SNS만 보고 있어요. But they all just look at their smartphones. 음, 그래서 우리 헌법에 이게 믿음, 믿음은 자유다 이렇게 보장이 돼 있습니다. So the Constitution says belief is a matter of personal freedom. 그러니까 아버지의 믿음을 신앙을 존중해야 합니다. So you do have to respect that your father has a right to believe what he wants to. 내 생각으로 이렇게 옳다 그러다고 단죄를 해서는 안 됩니다. So it's not a matter for you to say that he is wrong or right. 아버지는 그런 것을 믿으시구나. You just realize that that's what he believes in. 어, 트럼프의 정책을 하나님의 뜻이라고 믿으시구나. He believes that Trump was there, sent there by God. 어, 아버지가 틀린 것이 아니라. So he's not wrong. 나와 믿음이 다를 뿐입니다. It's that what we believe is different. 음, 그래서 존중한다는 말은 나와 다름을 인정한다는 뜻이. So when you're honoring somebody, what you're saying, you're acknowledging that person and you are different. You acknowledge the differences. 내가 거기에 동조할 수 없다면 but if you can't go along with that 나도 내 신앙이 있기 때문에 you can't go along with what he believes but because you have things that you believe as well 어, 거기 동조 안 해도 됩니다 then that's good that's fine you don't have to follow his beliefs 음, 서로 다름을 인정하면 됩니다 you just acknowledge the differences 음, 그랬을 때 이제 미국 말 중에 아주 좋은 말을 저는 발견했습니다 so i discovered this great saying in the us that speaks to this 어, no thank you
예를 들면 하나님을 믿으라고 한다면 If somebody says you should believe in God. 나를 위해서 하신 말씀이에요. That, that person told me this for me. 그러게 고마운 일이야. So it's something that you should be grateful for, right? Thank you, Daimon. So I said thank you. 나는 싫다. But I don't want to do that. 그때 no thank you. So that's why it's no thank you. <웃음> 어, 그 아버님께 no thank you라 하면 됩니다. So basically, all you have to tell your dad is no thank you. 어, 그러니까 뭐 인정을 하시면 돼요. It's a matter of acknowledging and being 어, at peace with the acknowledgement. 그리고 이게 나이가 들면. But as you get older, 신체가 굳어집니다. And you realize your body is going to become more stiff. 즉 유연성이 떨어지고요. You lose flexibility. 부서지기가 쉽고요. It's it's more frail. 그처럼 인간의 사유 사고도 마찬가지입니다. Same thing with your cognition. 사고가 이렇게 굳어집니다. You know, it becomes inflexible. 아, 그래서 자연적 이렇게 보수적으로 됩니다. It's natural as you get older to be more of orthodox conservative. And you have to acknowledge that too. 육체인들 것만 인정할 게 아니라 Not just see his body aging. 사고가 굳어지는 것도 인정해야 합니다. It also witness his body and his mental acuity aging as well. 아이를 키우는 부모는 A person who's rearing, a parent who's rearing a child. 아이 보고 이래라 저래라 하지 말고 Instead of telling that child do this or that. 그냥 몸을 보여야 합니다. You have to just model the behavior for the child. 왜냐하면 because 아이들은 따라 배우기를 하기 때문에 그렇습니다. Because that's how children learn. 즉 모방을 하는 성질이 있다. Because they imitate you. 그럼 노인의 성질은 뭐냐? Then how does a older person behave? 변화가 잘안 되는 겁니다. They don't change well. 이해력이 떨어지는 거예요. You know they seem to lack understanding or empathy. 그러니까 어른하고 같이 살 때는 so when you're living or coexisting with an older person, 내가 어른에게 맞춰야 합니다. You have to cater to that. 뭐든지 네 해야 합니다. You know you have to say yes. 이렇다 하면 네. And if he says this way 네. or that way, you just say yes. 음. 왜 이거 예라는 것은 그 말이 맞다가 아니라 당신의 그런 마음을 저도 이해합니다. 이런 뜻입니다. And by saying yes, what you're not you're saying is that you're not agreeing necessarily what that person said, but what you're saying is that I'm an acknowledging, I am hearing you and acknowledging your right to say that. 그러니까 교회 나오라고 하면 If somebody asks me to go to church, 네 하면 됩니다. I'll say yes. 다음 주에 나오라 이러면 It's like come next week then. 네 하면 돼. And I'll say yes. 그날 가서 보고 But if I go there and Take a look at for myself. 가고 싶지 않으면 안 가면 돼. And if I don't want to go, then I just don't go. 왜냐하면 나에게는 자유가 있기 때문에. Because I have freedom. 왜안 왔니 이렇게 말하면. If she asks, why didn't you come? Sorry 이렇게 하면 돼. 다음에 올 거지 이러면. I say, you're gonna come next time. 네. I'll say yes again. 또. 가기 싫으면 안 가면 됩니다. And if I don't want to go, so I don't go. 이렇게 맞춰야 됩니다. So you just have to kind of cater to that person. 무조건 따라가라는 것도 아니고. And I'm not saying follow that person blindly. 그 자리에서 no 하면 안 됩니다. But don't try to say no. 그건 right 거짓, then and there. 그건 거짓말과는 성격이 다릅니다. This is not the same as lying. It's different. 어른들은 어쩌면 그 자리에서 말할 때 동조해주기를 원하는 거지 진짜 그렇게 할 거냐 안할 거냐는 별 관심이 없습니다. Maybe what An older adult is interested is whether you are hearing him or not, rather than whether you're going to follow through with whatever behavior prescription he wants you to do. 그래서 이 맞춰가면서 이렇게 부드럽게 살아가는 게 노인을 노인과 부모든 노인과 함께 사는 지혜입니다. So whether it's an elderly parents or living with an older person, you know that's kind of the wisdom you learn in trying to live a more of a harmonious life with that person. 그러니까 앞으로 아버님이 뭐라고만 해도 네 해야 돼. So from now on, whatever your dad tells you, you say yes. 그럼 그렇게 할 건지 안할 건지는 내가 결정하면 돼. But whether you want to actually do it or not, that's up to you. 아버지가 문제를 제기하면 if your problem, if your dad brings up a problem, I'm sorry라고 해야 돼. Say I'm sorry. 그렇게 하면 갈등이 안 생깁니다. Then you're not creating conflicts then. 근데 그게 쉽지가 않습니다. That's not so easy though. 예가 입에 잘안 나와요. Because that yes is a very hard yes. 틀렸는데 어떻게 예하냐? 자꾸 이런 게 생겨. Because we keep thinking, how can I yes to something that's so wrong? Right. 
근데 옳고 탈, 맞고 틀린다 이런 관점에서 쓰면 안 됩니다. But this is not a matter of right or wrong. That's not the right perspective. 아, 그분의 마음을 받아야 돼. It's a matter of honoring that person by accepting his words. 그렇게 해서 돌아가실 때까지 좋은 관계를 맺기를 바랍니다. And we try to maintain that good relationship until he passes. 아버지를 위해서가 아닙니다. Not for your dad. 나를 위해서. For me, for yourself. 만약 갈등을 일이 계단 돌아가시면. You know, if he were to pass away in the midst of some tension between you two. 돌아가신 뒤에. After he passes. 내가 괴롭습니다. It's going to be you that's going to be suffering. 아 그때 맞춰줄 거야. I said I should have said yes then. 그래서 미래에 나의 손실을 막기 위해서. To reduce the mitigate the risk of your suffering in the future. 내 하라는 거야. I'm saying you should say yes now. 이것이 나를 위해서입니다. For myself. 나를 위하는데 못할 일이 없잖아. So if it's for yourself, what's the big deal? <웃음> 내가 잘안될것 같아요. You, you think it's still going to be hard, huh? Um, I, I'm worried that if I say yes, then he's going to follow up with a lot of other things and want me to do a lot of things that I wouldn't be comfortable with. <laughs> you keep saying yes. <laughs> Sometimes you sprinkle in no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But that's my worry. 계속 그럴 거다. 이렇게 내가 걱정하는. So you, what, what's making you pause is that your fear that he's going to keep doing it. If you say yes. Yes, 한번 해 보세요. But try it. 몇 개를 그럼 계속 요구할지. And try to be curious on how many follow up yes that he's going to make you do. 절대로 100 개는 안 넘습니다. You won't you won't go over 100. I promise. <웃음> 50개도 넘기 어렵습니다. 50 is going to be tough. 10개도 어쩌면 안 넘을 수 있어요. Maybe not even 10. 그렇기 때문에 걱정할 필요가 없어요. That's why there's no need for you to worry. 내가 미리 걱정하는 거. So you're actually worrying before the act. 실제로 해보면 아무 문제도 없어요. Because you're not worrying over actual reality. You're worrying about concerns for might what might happen. 예를 들어서. For example. 소를 몰고 지붕에 올려라. 소를 지붕에 올려라. 이런 얘기를 합니다. Say somebody tells me to take this cow and put it on the roof. 그럼 우린 대부분 소를 어떻게 지붕에 올려? 이래. Then what you usually our usual reaction would be reasonable reaction is how can I put a cow on the roof? 이렇게 해서 갈등이 생기는. And that creates conflict. 일단 소를 몰고 지붕 밑에까지 끌고 와서. So I would actually take the cow and bring it closer under the roof. 아버님 소를 올릴 수가 없습니다. 올려 주세요. 이러면 돼요. Then I said, Dad, I don't know. I can't figure this out. Can you help me put this cow on the roof? 그런 신용을 하면 이 문제는 해결이 됩니다. What I'm saying is actually make a pretension of an effort, and you resolve any conflict. 그렇게 한번 yes 해보세요. So try your yes. 아버지는 절대로 아들에게 손해 날 일은 안 시킵니다. Because your dad will never intentionally cause harm to you, his son. 아, 그러니까 아버지를 믿어야 돼. So you gotta trust your dad. Thank you. <웃음>